look at example 2. Okay, here we are asked to draw the following graph on the interval, and then they give us an interval. And here we see that we have y is equal to negative 2 sine x. So we can see we have an a. Okay, so we'll follow our, uh, our steps. The first step being find the center. Okay, we find the center by making whatever is inside the sign equal to zero. So we've got x is equal to zero, and when x is equal to zero, sine is equal to zero, and uh, therefore we've got zero for sines, um, and that multiplied by negative two will still give me zero, so y is equal to zero. Okay, so my center is the coordinate zero comma zero. That's my going to be my center. From the center line, that's where I'm going to start to draw my graph, and it's either going to go in that direction, okay, in these two di directions, or in those directions, okay, and that's going to determine, that's going to be determined by the um, A value in front. Here we see the N value is negative, so, so far, I, I, you can note that it's going to be these two, okay, the normal sine graph looks like this, but if there's a negative in front, it looks like that. Okay, so you can see we go down first, and that's what's going to happen from here. In the direction we're reading, we're going to go down first. Okay, but before we get to that, we need to do a few other things. In finding the center, we also have the center line. Okay, so there's our center line. Okay, our center line is all is the horizontal line that goes through the center. Okay, and it's on the center line that we're going to draw our sine graph. The second thing that we need to do is we have to mark off the period. Okay, now from the point we the starting point we have to do the period. The period is 360 degrees divided by P. P is what or absolute value of P is what is in front of the X. Nothing is written but we know there is a 1. So it's 360 divided by 1 um, which means that our period is going to be 360 degrees. Okay, so we need a little bit more space. 360 is probably, what's this? Um, that's 30, so that's 30, so that's 360 is more or less there. Okay, and the reason why we need the period is because we also have to divide the period into four. So take the period, divide it into four pieces. There is half. Okay, now when my graph go, does its course, it has to go up and then come back to this point okay then go down and come back to that point that's the idea that's if I divide it in half when I divide it in quarters that means halving the half there is a quarter okay this is the point where it's going to reach either its maximum or its minimum okay so there it reaches either its maximum or its minimum okay in the th third point okay third point we have to mark off the amplitude okay the amplitude or uh, uh, draw in the boundaries now the amplitude is given by whatever is in front of the sign okay there we have the coefficient of the sign the absolute value of that that just means we ignore any negatives and that is how high the graph goes above the center line. So if my center line is this y is equal to 0 is my center line, y equal to 0 is the center line, then the maximum I can go is 2 units up. Okay, so this is the maximum I can go up. Okay, that's my upper boundary. Okay, sorry, it looks terrible. And the lowest boundary would be negative 2, 2 units down. Okay. That is my lowest boundary. And from here on, the third thing, I, the fourth thing I do is determine direction. And we've already seen the direction in this case is we have to go, if in the direction we're reading, we're going down first. Since we're doing the back part of this graph, the negative portion, we're doing it from 315, negative 315 degrees to zero, we're going to go up first, reach that point, come down to that point, go up there and eventually want to reach back there. So if I draw it in lightly, this is what I get. Uh, 
and if I were to draw that in in a uh, in a darker color okay just follow that line all the way through there up to my maximum and down there there we go from this point to that point those points are actually not included according to this not included and up to 315 that's there not included cool now they might ask me um, what is the amplitude Okay, what is the amplitude? And if they do ask me what is the amplitude, it are, it's actually asking me how high does it go above the center line. In this case, it is 2. The amplitude is 2. They might also ask me what is the period? What is the period? If they ask me what is the period, they mean how long does it take or what is the distance to cover one full cycle and there we see we would have made a full cycle once we get to negative 360 negative 360 which means that that this distance is 360 degrees very important period is given in degrees if we work with degrees and radians if we work with radians and that's it for now